Welcome to Pro Upcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Monday, September 21st, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Sarah Fletcher. Today's news is sponsored by... Sunderland Group, your success, our tradition. For more information, please visit www.sunderlandgroup.com. Now for today's headlines. The conference board today announced that its index climbed 0.9% in July, a figure slightly higher than an estimated 0.7% gain according to economists surveyed by Reuters. This increase represents the fifth consecutive rise in economic activity and is compared to a revised reports of a 0.6% gain. According to one economist with the board, quote, since reaching a peak in July 2007, the index fell for 20 months, the longest downtrend since the mid-1970s, but it has been rising since April and its gains have become very widespread, unquote. In property casualty news, the rising unemployment rate is affecting the number of mortgage delinquencies and, as a result, the number of foreclosures are expected to rise. In terms of U.S. homeowners, an unprecedented 7.58% were at least 30 days late on mortgage payments in August, a climb from 7.32% in July, Reuters reports. This percentage of delinquent homeowners is compared to 4.89% in August 2008 and 3.44% in the same period in 2007. In investment news, municipal bond mutual funds generated $1.51 billion the week ended September 16th, according to Lipper, a unit of Thomson Reuters. This figure represents the highest weekly inflow since Lipper started tracking this data in the early 1990s. In terms of the entire sector, the average inflow for the past four weeks came to $2.64 billion. This is compared to a four-week average of $1.37 billion previous to today's figures. I'm Sarah Fletcher and thanks for watching ProBcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit producersweb.com.